Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another new pen and I picked this pen up at the London International Pen Show in October 2019. And if you've seen some of my other videos you'll know that I like the ASC or Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Pens. And I picked this one up at the London show. This was at John Foy's table. So I'd like to thank John Foy for selling me this pen. Normally John actually sends me some photos ahead of time. I didn't get a photo of this pen. When I uh, looked at John's table, which was really probably about the third table that I looked at at the show, I suddenly saw this pen and I decided I had to buy it. So let me open the box and I will show you. So the first thing is... ASC always say no compromise. Our pens are 100% handmade in Italy and we are proud of that. I'm not too sure if that is still the case. I think Manu says that it is uh, because it used to be the Leonardo guys or the X Delta guys, which are the Matronis that used to make these pens. And now these are made by another pen maker instead. Uh, but this is a beautiful pen. So let me remove this from the box. So what do you have? You have the Armando Simone Club book, uh, which goes into Armando Simone Club and shows some of the pens that you have, the Arco Brown and the Arco Verde that I have, uh, also the Wild Side as well. Uh, it shows the pneumatic filling mechanism and the nib as well. And obviously you have the warranty card there. So. You also have a medallion that comes and you also have a warranty card. So let me put those back and I will remove the pen from this vacuum seal and put the box away and then you can see here the pen in all its glory. So this is the pen. It's an Armando Simone Club Bologna extra and it's the black gold luchance material now this is an omas material that asc were able to purchase after omas went under from the liquidator but this material is really really stunning so for me this is a beautiful pen uh, you can see here at the top the finial for the cap just goes to a point you have the standard italian omas style roller clip there you have a Greek key band, which is also has two separate bands there between separating that Greek key band. And then you can see the cap sort of tapers out slightly uh, and bulges out more to that ring band. And then the pen starts to taper slowly into the filling knob, which is the pneumatic filling knob. And you can see here that this material, it's almost like a honeybee. Um, it's actually translucent. So you can see the um, pneumatic filler there. Now, this you can see here is uh, numbered. And this says ASC Bologna Extra. And it's the black gold luchance. And it's number 42. So for me, that's a nice number there now if i remove the cap you'll see here the lovely nib it's a bock number eight size nib and it's a magic flex nib with an ebonite feed you can see there it's really beautiful now it is a pneumatic piston filler so what you do is you unscrew this and you pull the sleeve out and you can keep turning that, it doesn't do anything, but there is a hole there. So what you have to do is put your finger over that hole, you push that down once the nib's inserted into ink, let your finger off the hole, and then a rush of vacuum of, of air will go out of the pen and ink will suck into the pen. And then you will have inked the pen up. And you can do that several times. Uh, it's it's quite a an old style mechanism. Uh, it's similar to that of the old J levers that you would have on on vintage pens. But this is for me a really nice pen. I like the size. I like the weight. I like the filling mechanism, um, and I like the nib. And I like how it writes. So for me, the Bolognas are a model that, or oh, Bologna extras, I should say, are the models that I do like a lot. 
So I think let's do a size and weight check and then we'll do a pen comparison and then we'll do a writing sample. So the length of the pen here, we're looking at around about 158 millimeters in length. The cap is about 70 millimeters in length. And let's see if we can do a measurement here from the tip of the tines, tip of the nib. It's about 147, 148 millimeters in length. So that in itself is actually a oversized pen. And you can see here in my hand that it's actually quite a long pen. Can I post the cap? I can, it won't post deeply. You don't want to post it because it becomes a wand. If you really do need to post your caps, don't post this one because you'll look silly doing so. But for me, this is a nice pen and it's a good size pen. So I think let's do a weight check. The full weight of the pen, uninked, we're looking at just over 57 and a half grams. So that's quite a weighty pen. The cap itself is just over 12 grams. And then the pen itself, uninked, is just over 41 and a half grams. But you can see here that this cap is actually quite translucent. The same with the material. So you can see here that you can see through parts of that cap and that actually to me makes it look quite nice so I do like this Luchens material uh, I do actually have another blue Luchens pen and that's the Molteni and let me see if I can get that pen and I will show you right here so this is the blue Luchens material and you can see there that that also is translucent now that is in the Molteni Modelo 55S but that, again, also is a nice pen. Uh, I do like that blue Luchens material, but I do like that black and gold Luchens material a lot, lot more. So I'm really glad that I was able to pick this up at the London International Pen Show. I think let's do a comparison size with other pens. So from left to right, we have a Visconti Homo Sapiens London Fog. We have a Leonardo Officina Italiana Momento Zero. This is the Hawaii. And this is the Leonardo Officina Italiana Momento Zero. And this is the Mediterraneo. This is the celluloid with a gold nib. We have a Pelican M800 Royal Gold Varden. We have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra. And this is the Black and Gold Luchens. We have a... Conway Stewart Churchill, and this is the Red Stardust. We have a Classic Pens LB5 in the Kawasaki. We have a Visconti Opera Master Crimson Tide. We have a Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Age Lava. And we have the Visconti Jacques de Marley. So I haven't inked this pen up yet, so I'm going to ink it up right now. I was a little bit dubious about which ink I should put in here. It does have a sack, so I do need to give that some consideration. So I really want a safe ink. I think a lot of the KWZ inks are fairly safe. I think a brown or red or orange ink might be a little bit more unsafe. So I'm going to go with KWZ Honey. And this, I also have KWZ Old Gold as well. But I think this ink is going to be quite nice. So let's open the bottle of ink. Try not to spill it anywhere. As you can see, this is a very nice colored ink. And I think it will match that pen quite nicely. So what I'm going to do is just move the ink out of the way a little bit. I'm going to unscrew the back of the pneumatic filler pull out the pneumatic filler, put my finger over the end there, submerge the nib, and there you go. And I'm just going to do it a second time just to make sure, and hopefully that's got enough ink in there. I'm just going to wipe that ink off, so I can get it off of the section, and there we have the nib and pen inked up so I'm now going to screw this down and there we have it so let me just cap 
the pen for the moment and then I'm going to put the cap on the ink bottle because I don't want that spilling everywhere and now we'll do a writing sample so this is the beautiful Armando Simone Club black and gold Luchens pen so let's do a writing sample it's the Armando Simone Club and it's the uh, Bologna extra and I'm already running out of space so I'm gonna put this on the next line it's the black and gold luchens and it's a medium 18 carat gold magic flex nib now the ink as you've seen there is KWZ honey and that is a lovely color ink and I think that that ink matches this pen very nicely now in terms of line variation you'll see here it's putting down a medium to a broad line I can apply a bit more pressure and get a little bit more line variation out of it but you can see here this pen is very very wet and I do like wet pens and I do like broader pens so in terms of the ink let's see how wet this nib is <laughs> that's a wet nib it's a super wet nib so let's do another vertical pass yeah that is what I call a fire hose of a nib and that nib is beautiful for me now clearly you're gonna have problems trying to write in a notebook or a journal uh, but for me I do like these wet nibs I do love watching the ink dry on these uh, on the paper on the page it just really just for me makes the whole writing experience better and if you have a nib that isn't 100% perfect the wetter the ink the more ink it has to glide over on the page uh, so for me like this there's nothing wrong with this nib like this nib writes very well uh, but if you did have a nib that was a little bit maybe rough or scratchy um, or toothy then with a very wet writing nib you may not notice it as much but for me this this nib writes flawlessly so I'm really glad that I was able to pick this pen up from John Foy at St John's Pens on Instagram. He sells pens uh, online, on only on Instagram at the moment. He does have a website now, stjohnspens.com. He also sells them at the UK pen shows, and he also goes to a number of European pen shows as well. So if you get a chance to see him, please go and check out his pens because he does have a lot of very lovely pens he has a lot of expensive pens as well as a lot of entry level pens so he has pens to actually reach all areas of the market so there you have it that's my Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra black and gold Luchens unboxing and review thanks for watching please like comment subscribe and I'll see you on the next pen video bye bye